Welcome to today's Q&A video, where we'll delve further into the world of routing cables through solid timber joists to shine some light on the often asked questions, where can I notch in a joist? And imperatively for us electricians, can I run cables through notches? So let's jump straight in and investigate. In a previous related Q&A video, we looked at the question, where in a joist can I drill a hole? See link in the comments below. And again, it is imperative to note here that our consideration for this topic is specifically on the structural integrity of solid timber joists rather than engineering joists or I joists found in many new builds these days. These will be addressed in another video. When it comes to electrical installations and dealing with joists, it is crucial to follow industry standards and regulations to ensure structural integrity and electrical safety. In this video, we will refer to the information provided by organisations like the National Housing Building Council, NHBC, building regulations, as well as IET guidance derived from BS7671. We've already looked at drilling holes in joists, but what do the regs say about notching in joists? We're going to let Ross answer that question in a moment, but first we just want to say thanks to the sponsors of this video, AT&T GB Limited Electrical Distributors. If you're a Sparky in the southeast of England, they've got trade counters in Brentford, Reading, Chelmsford and Maidstone, packed to the rafters with electrical goodies to get that job done. They even offer same day delivery to postcodes in the M25 area as long as your order is placed before half past 11 in the morning. And don't worry if, like me, you live up north or further afield, as they can still provide an excellent service and support wherever you are in the UK. With their commitment to customer service, you can tell they're a business founded by electricians for electricians. So much so that their Chelmsford branch won the eFix Award last year for Wholesaler of the Year. So thanks to AT&T for supporting this video. Now then, Ross, what do the regs say about notching joists? Well, as with drilling holes, one key principle to bear in mind when notching in joists or installing any services within an installation, as emphasised in Part A of the building regulations, is to maintain the structural integrity of joists and avoid deflection, deformation or collapse of any part of a building. In line with this, Regulation 522.8.14 BSM 671 still applies when notching joists and states that no wiring system should penetrate an element of construction that is intended to be load-bearing unless the load-bearing ability of the element remains satisfactory after such penetration. As mentioned in our previous video, these statements could cause some debate between those structural engineers watching this video as to what is allowable before load-bearing ability is actually affected. But again, Please remember that most electricians aren't trained structural engineers and therefore must rely on guidelines such as those provided by the IET and NHBC. According to Table 6 in NHBC Standards 2023, notches are permitted to be drilled in solid joists, providing that joists are less than 250mm in depth and not close to heavy loads. Notches are made between 0.1 to 0.2 times the span of the joist from either support. Notches are no bigger than 0.15 times the depth of the joist and notched and drilled holes are kept at least 100 millimeters apart. Let's break this down a little further here then. One of the first things to consider before making any notches is the depth of the joist. The NHBC specifically states that if the depth of the joist to be notched or drilled is over 250 millimeters or is close to heavy loads such as stair trimmings, partitions, systems or cylinders, and a structural engineer would need to be consulted in the design of notches or holes before making any, as load bearing capability may be affected as a result. Made between 0.1 to 0.2 times the span of the joist from the supports. As with drilling holes, it is important to reiterate that this measurement can apply to either side of the joist, and as implied by NHBC, the notch should be made at the top of the joist. However, if we do a little more digging, commentary on the IET wiring regulations table 9.2 does state the notches can be made at either the top or the bottom of the joist, but not at the same end. If we assume we are notching a standard joist depth of 150mm with a joist span of let's say 4000mm for example, a 0.1 times 4000 and 0.2 times 4000 equals 400 and 800 millimeters respectively. That leaves us with a zone of 400 millimeters starting from exactly 0.4 meters on the left or the right of the supports where we're only permitted to make notches. See, 
no bigger than 0.15 times the depth of the joist. Keeping with the depth of the joist is 150 millimeters, then some further quick maths and 150 times 0.15 would mean that the deepest we'd be able to make the notch would be 22 and a half mil. Some further important information that is provided by the NHPC that could be missed when referring to the on-site guide alone is that it also needs to be a minimum distance between any drilled holes and notches made of at least 100 millimeters. So please keep this in mind if you're attempting to make a notch in a solid joist where there's already been a hole drilled close by. Now, let's address the question of cable routing and more specifically and pertinently to us electricians, can cables be run through notches? Well, in short, that depends on the wiring system you are using. In addressing this question, we need to look at regulation 522.6.201 and 522.6.204 BS7671 in a little bit more detail. Paragraph 9.3.3.1 in the commentary of the IoT wiring regulations summarizes these regulations quite nicely. It states, the requirements in BS7671 with respect to the laying of cables and the floors or above ceilings are intended to ensure that cables are not installed in any position where they are likely to suffer damage by contact with the floor or ceilings or their fixings. Unarmored cables passing through a joist are required to be installed at least 50 millimeters measured vertically from the top or bottom as appropriate of the joist or batten, or be enclosed in earth steel conduit, trunking or ducting, or be incorporated in an earthed metallic sheath suitable for use as a protective conductor, or have mechanical protection against damage sufficient to prevent penetrations of cable by nails, screws, and the like. We could have had a further discussion here as to what alternative mechanical protection would be deemed sufficient to prevent penetration of the cable by nails, screws and the like. But let's put a pin in that for now and remind ourselves of the original question, can we run cables in notches? It is clear then that according to BS7671, unarmored cables without mechanical protection, such as our trusty twin and CPC thermoplastic cable, should not be run through notches in timber joists if that 50 millimeters clearance cannot be achieved. This is primarily due to concerns over potential damage to the cables, including mechanical damage and overheating. A notch could also pinch or compress the cables, leading to possible insulation breakdown, and any compacted thermal insulation could also have an impact on cable ratings, all of which could ultimately compromise the safety of the electrical installation. Well, thank you for joining us today. We hope this information helps you understand where to notch a joist and the restrictions on running cables through notches. Stay tuned for more informative videos and please check out our training modules on the building regulations using the link provided. Remember, following these guidelines is not only important for regulatory compliance, but also for the electrical safety and integrity of the building itself.